Rob Vegas. We are checking in, of course, from Melbourne, Australia, and we've got another awesome episode of Assembled the Troops lined up for you today. Now, we have had a few Dreadnought specials lately, and we're going to have another one, because today we have got Xandar from 1986 as our go-to guy for some Assembled the Troops. Now, you probably gathered by the extra screws and the o-ring there's going to be some troop assembling today so let's roll with that and have a heap of fun along the way because that's just what we like to do now we're gonna take like xandar's legs um you can see these the screws holding them together, they're a bit rusty. So in the first instance, let's get them out. There's one. And there's two. Now obviously, we don't want the old leggies to just blast apart. So we're gonna pop in some brand new replacement screws for those because as much as we like assembling the old troops there's you know we don't like doing more assembling than we have to of course now the good thing is that the screws that hold the back of the fit oh, but bloody hell the good thing is the screws that hold the the back of the figure together, which we'll get to in a moment, are the same as the screws that hold the legs together. So if we can actually, in some kind of coordinated effort, get that into the socket and screwed into whole leg together, which we've done there on that one. Brilliant. Hey, folks, um, yeah, just had to have a break the old phone review was ringing but that is not going to stop us from fixing up old Xander here because he is the man with the plan so we've undone we've fixed up the legs so they are screwed up right and tight with brand new screws so no more rusty bits there and you know what we're gonna do with these rusty screws they are going in the in the bin one day we'll do a video about the bin but today is not the time so stand by on that one what we do want to do, of course, is you can see Xandar is just not not cracked up. I did hear some people say <laughs> that these guys are plastic welded together, and and you know what, I'm beginning to think. This isn't happening because no, oh dear, well, that's not good. <sighs> and this is what happened with me and Bonsai a long time back. They're plastic welded together. How on earth? Am I meant to assemble this troop? Like, I've got all the accessories. I've got his backpack. I've got his rifle. We fixed his legs, as we explained in the intro there, when we were initially fixing him. Guys, what the hell? 
So someone needs to help me out here. Someone shout out in the comments. Well, in the first instance, this back screw and this sh broken O-ring, they're going in the bin. Yeah, someone needs to hit me up and let me know how to fix this because it's happened a few times now and I cannot in any good consciousness leave this figure like this. Um, are they plastic welded together? Um, is there some kind of glue? What is the go? Is there some kind of solvent? We've hit a roadblock here, people, and, you know, straight off the bat, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, just super glue. Yeah, yeah straight off the bat, am I going to go, hey, let's super glue him together like that, but I don't want to do that. That's not... Yeah, that's just not a thing, because that ruins the fun. So, I'm going to have to call out and get your help here, people. What am I doing wrong? Like, yeah, how can we get this troop assembled? You know, we've, we've done everything by the book. What do we need to do next? Because we need to get Xandar back to being the master of camouflage that we know that he is. So let me know in the comments below when after you've liked and subscribed or before you've liked and subscribed or all of that. Yeah, we've got to get Xander back in fighting form because he is not. He is fighting being in fighting form. So get on board, help out the show and um, yeah, let's get Xander back into action all right well it's gonna have to be a part two so like and subscribe all of that that you normally do cheers everybody and i'll see you in the next video and hopefully it's not as bad as this but um they can't always be zingers all right cheers everybody all right so, it turns out that apparently with Xandar and a few other G.I. Joes, of course, we've, we've looked at Ninja Force and a few others and things like that, that their bodies are glued together. So, obviously, like with Xandar, I thought, oh yeah, we just take the screw out of the back and it will pop apart and we can fix him up blah 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 but no he is he is glued together at the torso so old mate in the factory when they assembled him decided hey let's run some super glue around him to put him together as if the screw in the back that holds him together is not enough okay so I shouted out to the G.I. Joe brothers out there on the Aussie forum um, and they made a few suggestions. And what I ended up doing was we got the needle nose pliers and we inserted them into Xandar's belly very and very slowly let them expand so I did that now that has broken the glue now straight up straight off the bat I do not recommend under any circumstances that you do that um, and I yeah just depending on the condition of your Xandar figure, 
you know, use your discretion as to what you feel is best. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just here doing this for fun. So I don't want anyone out there to wreck their figures because that would be the worst thing in the world because we want our troops to be assembled. And I tell you what, this episode has been an absolute bastard because, like, why the freaking hell would they glue the damn figures together? I can understand it with the Ninja Force guys because they had, like, the spring-loaded gimmicks and stuff. But, you know, it's just... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, my arm's falling out just to give it, get me extra grumpy. But, yeah, obviously your G.I. Joe figures are going to be in a different condition and different state than mine. So just use, you know, your best practice, like what it is that seems like the most appropriate way to fix them up. So I'm here as for entertainment. It is my purpose. But bloody hell. That hasn't been a damn mission and a half. We well, got Xandar. Xandar is. Xandar oh, is. annoying the hell out of me. <laughs> but there he is. He's back together. We've assembled this troop. Of course, Xandar. Something about thermal sensitive material changes color. Blah, don't care. Either way, we've got Xandar back together. He's got his backpack. Not sure what that's meant to be all about. But it's here. It goes in the place where he's meant to be easily disassembled by taking the screw out but he's not and he's got this rifle this rifle is actually pretty cool like that's a cool piece so shout out to Xandar for that uh, let's see if he doesn't want to hold it he probably doesn't because he's been pretty belligerent and there we go backpack pops off again yeah, normally these, I'm shouting out how cool these Dreadnoughts are. But yeah, Xandar, you've given me a hard time this episode. It's going to be like about five different edits and lots of time in the studio there. So, yeah, right on. Um, that's about it for this episode. Um... Yeah, keep on assembling the troops. Xandar's back in action, so yes, uh, we'll get back to that. But he's ready to go. He's kicking butt and looking good and back in action with a brand new O-ring and yeah, ready to rock and roll. So everyone out there, keep assembling those troops. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. Leave a comment below if you ever had a Xandar and if you've ever had any of the troubles that I have in repairing and assembling this troop. So everyone stay cool. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.